Streamlabs just came with a new feature, CollabCam. CollabCam is a great integrated feature that lives on in Streamlabs desktop. What can you do with it? You can add guests to your stream very easily. Thank you Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. So here we have Streamlabs Desktop. To use CollabCam, download Streamlabs Desktop. Link is down below in the description. And we've made a new scene. So you can see a couple of my scenes here. And here we have new scene. You can just make a new scene by clicking on the plus here. But when you have a new scene, you have sources. Click on the add. And here we see our normal alerts and stuff like that. But if you scroll down a little bit under general sources, we have collab cam now. If we click on that and add source, you can call it whatever we want. For convenience, I just keep it on collab cam for now so we know what the source is. Collab cam is not seeding your video and audio to guests. Starts collab cam. So now we need to click on starting it. This window popped up. This is our invite URL. If we send this to a guest, they can join our stream. If we share this link, like I'm doing right now, we can click on generate new link and it will make a new random link. So I can share this link with you guys without you guys actually being able to join because I can generate new links. <laughs> so if you have a problem with people jumping in because the link got leaked or something like that, you can generate a new link. There are four guest spots available, so you cannot add more than four people in it. And you can see how many there are in right now, right here on the guest. Zero out of four. The webcam microphone source you select below will be broadcasted to your guests. So the guests themselves can hear and see you. This is what you will actually be sharing. This is the webcam source you have added in other sources. So if you do not have anything here, what we can do is we can click on the plus and here we have video capture devices. If you click on here and add the source, we can actually add a new one, add a new source instead. So this is a camera webcam at source. And here we can select which webcam. And we see I've added a webcam here and we can set everything, default settings, custom. We can have it 1080p. So I've added this webcam now. Now we have added the webcam to another scene. We can just have that to any other scene. So we can even remove it out of here. We don't have to have it in the collab cam one. So we just remove it. We make a new scene. I'm just gonna keep calling them new scene for now. I'm gonna actually tidy things up, I swear. And then we can just add it in this scene and it's also fine. So we add that webcam again. And now this is a new scene, but we're gonna go back to our other new scene <laughs> with the collab cam. I'm just going to the cockwheel here to go back here to this menu. And we can select which webcam will be displayed to our guest. That will be webcam because that's the one that we just made. And it's in the new scene one here. You have probably added your microphone to select that as microphone. So your guests can actually hear what you're saying as well. Again, you can add these the same as with the webcam. Just make a new scene at your microphone if you haven't added them anywhere in your scenes. So we can also share a video source. So for example, display capture, and you can share your desktop like that. Or you can share your Nintendo Switch or your gameplay with your guests, for example. So they can also have commentary. For example, if you're doing some kind of hosting of a tournament, they can also interact with the gameplay of the tournament. So these are the settings. And for this to work, we obviously need to send this link to one of our guests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to send this to myself. And then I'm going to open it on my phone. I've opened it on my phone right now. You can see that my mic is working as it's like immediately going up and down. And you can see that the video footage is showing. Hello, <laughs> I'm here and there now. Um, you can select the microphone and a camera by clicking on here, speakers, headset, earpieces. But right now I just have my phone. So just default microphone on my phone and the camera we can, we can choose like front or back and we have the front camera right now this is the selfie camera that i'm using right now and a speakers is also just default speakers of my phone at the moment when you use it on the pc you can obviously select other things than your phone cameras and now click on join and we see on the pc here it says one out of four and we can see we could go to tree here and that's me hello i'm coming in on the pc now too we can see a sign source collab tree and we can set the volume here as well. So if we think the guest is too loud or not loud enough, we can adjust it here. Right now, because I'm on my phone, I'm on Wi-Fi. That means that on the bitrate and on the camera itself, it will look less good than you would be on internet or a cable. So keep that in mind. Cabled internet wins from Wi-Fi. Okay, we can set the volume here and then we can click on show on stream. We will see yourself here. So this is the collab cam audio coming in. I muted myself because I hear echo because my phone is sending the audio to, <laughs> to Streamlabs desktop. You can see the connection here, how well it is. You can go to properties, settings, and we can actually add more people by sending this link to more people and they will come in these tabs as well. We can adjust the source. 
make it bigger. If you turn your phone around and you let your phone turn on its own, you will actually fill up the whole screen instead of having the TikTok format, basically. So let's try and add somebody else in it as well, which is just my PC, but then with a browser. I'm going to paste the link in here and click on go. Here we ask which camera do I want to use? Which microphone do I want to use? So, and I'm going to say accept. So this is in Dutch because my computer is in Dutch. It says webcam could not be detected right now because we're actually just added it to Streamlabs desktop. <laughs> so if we click on try again, we can actually select another one if we want to. I've added my camera to SpeakCab because then I can actually use it for multiple programs. And now we see that we actually pick up this webcam. So I'm going to join with it. Oh, username is required. Tree to. Okay, I quickly muted my microphone in both the browser and my phone because it did not like the fact that I was recording multiple things in the same room. We're in this conversation now with me having a really weird face. Don't, don't mind me here. <laughs> I think the system isn't really liking the fact that I'm using the split cam to actually use the same camera on two devices. <laughs> Sorry for that. All right, so we just joined the conversation and here we can go to collab cam and you see that tree two has actually appeared. So we're going to assign it to collab cam two. Source of collab is already occupied by tree. Uh, if you continue tree, you will be on the side. So we can actually have somebody else shown on stream now. If we want to go back to tree, we can assign that to collab two. What we can also do is we can add multiple collab cams and then we can have multiple people in here as well. Now we actually tap out, we can see that this windows here and this is from Streamlabs desktop which is actually just showing us what the feed looks like. So this is what the guests see, this is the the stream output, this is the phone output, so this is the other guest and this is us as the guest tree too. And we can actually read with the chat and see what's going on. If we want multiple people to be added in the same source what we can do is instead of like assigning them to this one we can add a new source like this and you can see that two sources have appeared and now we can assign them to two different sources. We can hide somebody on stream like that easily and we can basically say how would we want to set them in the stream. So for example like this. So you can see that this one is my phone and this one is the PC with the webcam. And even though we added them as different sources by doing it in here, what happened is these people can still see each other because it is still one collab cam. So these people can actually still communicate with each other and actually communicate with chat because they also see Twitch chat here. You can also share your screen. There we go. And now we actually share the screen as well. If we go to settings, we can see that tree screen has appeared in here. We can make a new source again and then show on stream. And now we can also see my desktop. So we could add the desktop from the person on the browser as well. We can stop sharing a screen here or you can do it in here by going to the properties and make sure that you hide somebody on stream or show somebody on stream. And if somebody leaves with their camera, so for example, the phone here, you won't see it in the tabs anymore and they will just be gone off the stream. For the person on the browser, we can see that one has gone as well. Because it's integrated in Streamlabs desktop, you don't have to use Zoom or Discord to actually add people into your stream. There will be custom overlays as well that actually integrate collab cam. So you have an overlay for multiple people on your stream. Why would you use collab cam? For example, if you want to add somebody on your stream for a podcast, then you can have two people on the screen. So you have yourself and another person and you have your overlay around it. Also, if you want to do, for example, a cooking stream and you want to have multiple angles, one on your food, one on yourself, or you want to do like a creative stream or just any other thing with a second camera angle, you can use your phone, for example, to have that second camera angle. Or if you want to play games with a guest, you can actually share their gameplay by sharing their desktop as well. So you have both your gameplay in there and both of your cameras and you can do that up to four people. The guests don't have to install anything, not in your phone nor on desktop because your guests use a browser to actually be added to your stream. So they only have to go to a link and they don't have to install anything. Streamlabs has a Prime subscription. So you might be wondering, is this part of the Prime subscription or is this free? This is totally free. You can just use this whenever you want, with or without the Prime subscription. You can basically move all your guests around just like any other source in Streamlabs desktop. You can just drag them, you can hold shift and make them bigger, alt and make them smaller like this. You can do whatever you want and put them wherever you want in your Streamlabs desktop. 
frame basically so you can move them around what do you guys think you're gonna use collab cam for are you gonna add some other people into your stream to chat with or to play games with or are you gonna do like a multiple angle stream what are your plans with collab cam leave them down below in the comments because i love to know what creative things you've come up with to use collab cam download streamlabs desktop Link is down below in the description. I think collab cam is really cool because you can add some new people or new camera angles to make your stream more creative. That's one of the things that makes your stream grow. Making something unique and something creative that people want to come back for. I think you want to grow your stream, right? So I've made this video about 12 things that actually grow your stream on Twitch. You want to know what they are? Jump in this video with me. I'll see you there.